Hello, hello everyone, welcome back. This is Maria and today we're going to be talking about churn analysis. So I'm sure you know how signing up new clients is a lot more expensive than maintaining the ones that you already have. What leads our customers towards leaving our company? So we're going to be working with a churn for bank customers data set and some of the variables will be their credit score, um, gender, years in the bank, number of products, or if they have a credit card or not. First thing we're gonna do will be clicking on models and then we go to cluster. And from the variables in our data set, credit score, years in the bank, or number of products, for example. And we're gonna send them here to factors. We're gonna choose churn as our target. And that's simply what we want to know, if they leave or if they don't leave the company. We type a title for our project, click on execute, and that should be it. So first thing that I would do will be clicking on the people that churn. So in that way, we're going to be able to just build a profile and try to understand how are they. So you can always just expand here the variables area, and it's going to be a lot easier to work with the different variables. Going back to the people that churn, um, here in age, we can see that they are not the youngest customers. They are in their 40s and older. Also, we see an overrepresentation here on females. We see a huge overrepresentation in Germany. Um, it's funny how we see that there's also an overrepresentation in surnames such as um, Smith or Martin, but that's just because they are common last names. Also, we see that they tend to either have one product or three products so maybe two products is the perfect number to avoid churn now if we go to this variable if they have a credit card or not but we keep an eye here on churn we can see that it doesn't really matter if i click on yes or no this is not changing at all which means that having a credit card doesn't have any relevance or doesn't affect at all in churn. Other thing that I could do would be filtering credit score and again keep an eye on here you're gonna see how as I approach to the bottom this is overrepresented. So again keep an eye on here the more I go towards the end the higher the overrepresentation is here. You see so the lower the credit score the higher uh, risk we have of churn but anyways these are just a couple insights from this project that I hope that you found useful and insightful as always if you have any questions here you have our chat we're there live and willing to help thank you for coming back and see you next time bye